I also do it. Ah, should be probably the just a general primer on that dirty word in personal finance. Debt. I mean, are all types of debts awful? Right? Should they be avoided um, uh, by all costs? Like some of those mainstream gurus, aka the Dave Ramseys of the world, keep harping harping on about. Well, today you'll find out my quick and easy take. <laughs> Hey, I'm Zempak here.、Uh, so even the word debt just by itself carries some real curious connotations to me. It's owing people something, right? Usually money, and I personally really hate owing people money, right? Even if I borrowed only five bucks from any of my friends, they know that I'll return it as soon as I humanly possibly can. I attribute this to the fact that I'm a decent human being, and I do not like anyone to have some kind of financial or moral claim over me. Right? I want to be my own master, obviously. Since I've retired early, and these days I am literally that. I don't have to answer to anyone. Yay! But what about financial debts? Right? Apparently, Americans are consumed by it, and some of that、uh, is certainly cultural. In the grand old U.S. of A., we want our stuff, and we want it now, whether we can afford it or not. <laughs> And、a great deal of Americans have significant debts of all types.、Uh, so today we'll address the most common types、uh, and see whether、uh, all of the debts can, or more importantly, should be avoided at all costs. So if you enjoy some easy to digest topics like these、uh, and don't find me too annoying or whatever, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and share, and all that social media nonsense or whatever, because I'm sure you're smarter than me, right? Uh, first category:、uh, student loans. This is a big one. Apparently, kids、uh, these days owe a ton of money. In this category alone. Oh wait, did I say kids? Just kidding. I mean full-grown adults. To be honest, I do think education as a category is、uh, generally worth getting into debt for. Right? But there's a huge question of how much and for for what degree and where. If you're picking college because you think it'll be a fun time and end up owing a ton of money, then no, I don't feel sorry for you, right? If you picked a major like education or journalism that is almost certainly not going to make much money、uh, throughout its entire duration, I'd also question why not just pick a state school、um, for those type of majors. You get my drift? Some people might say, "Hey, it's hard for a 17-year-old to make the,、uh, these life-altering decisions at that age."、Mm. Well, I'd say a 17-year-old a few hundred years ago would be considered a full-grown adult who's expected to help carry the family burden already. Right? Not sure why in this more advanced age we keep assuming teenagers must be treated like infants. Right? I know I wasn't. I know my wifey wasn't. In our personal anecdotal experience, I ended up owing some money, which I paid off very quickly, like within five years, despite having only a very, very low-level entry-level job、uh, in the beginning. Right? My wife was even smarter. She not only picked an affordable school, but finished in three years to absolutely minimize her student loan burden. Right? Look, I guess that sounds like a, a humble brag, but my point is, it can be done. Right? If you've had any level of financial education earlier in life, you'd have known that. Right? But if you haven't got that, well, hey, I'm here to help. Right? Uh, second major type of debt: mortgages. I'm talking about housing mortgages for primary homes only for now, right? Honestly, I'm actually also totally fine with mortgages、uh, since I've been an adult, at least. And what I mean is that in this interest rate environment, so during the last 20 years or so, a home mortgage is absolutely worth it because it's the cheapest money that you can get, right? Hey, like again. I preach, you know. I do what I preach, right? I have a mortgage right now, even though I can easily afford to pay it off. I do not、uh, do so right now because、uh, I would have to sell stocks, right?、Uh, all my stocks are going up at a faster rate than my mortgage's interest rate. So why wouldn't I just let it ride out and see the stocks continue to appreciate instead, right? Of course,、uh, even home mortgages—it's not a black and white issue, especially in terms of how fast you should pay it off. Right? There's absolutely something comforting about simply removing as many recurring、uh, payments from one's life as possible. And mortgage payments, in general, is one of the largest for anybody. Right? So I reserve the right to change my mind on paying off my mortgage should wifey stop getting a regular income, for example. But the danger for mortgages is more about how much of it you're sold. To begin with, especially for a primary residence, right?、Uh, well, it is good to get cheap money at a low rate, right? It doesn't matter how low the interest rate is if you're taking on too much debt, generally, right? 
Well, here's a piece of generic advice I'd give you, right? If your standard home buying process that you're going through that approves you for a 500K mortgage, then get a mortgage for 300K, right? So that you can not only afford it, but easily afford it, right? Now, finally, the real fun stuff. Personal loans, you should never ever have them. Whatever you want them for, if you can't afford it with cash, you can't afford it. All auto loans, also a hard no. Good Lord, just get a car you can buy with cash. Think about why you're actually thinking of buying a car you can't afford with cash. Is it to keep up with the Joneses? Because that's likely the case. And frankly, that's sad because your neighbors most likely are also financing their vehicles and living paycheck to paychecks. Why be like other people when they're just faking it, right? And of course, the most cursed type of debt of all, credit card debt. Ah yes, the bane of so many people's existence because it's entirely optional. Well here, while I agree, credit card debt is awful, right? I still also love credit cards. That's because I've never had to pay any credit card debt in my life, and yet I use them all the time. It just takes a little bit of discipline, right? Pay it off every month, and those uh, cards that are, cha are charging a uh, abhorrently high uh, interest rate will never ever affect you. Simple as that. My rule of th thumb is very, very easy, right? Aim to use less than 5% on your, uh, of my credit card limit, right? To be honest, month to month, I usually keep it around 1% to 2%. So there's no chance I'd outstretch myself, right? Obviously, your number may vary depending on your credit card history and what limits you have, but you get my point, right? Just only spend money that you have. That's the summary of this whole last optional debt category. If you do that, you won't have any problems, right? Now, in conclusion, guess what? Not all debt is absolutely the worst, but I also get why a more mature gentleman like Dave Ramsey would say things like all debt is bad. After all, that's the easier soundbite, right? The reality is that your tolerance for debt depends on your habits. If you can avoid high interest debt like credit card, auto, and personal, lo uh, personal loans, in theory you'd be fine. Alas, if your habits are already poor and you are undisciplined fiscally speaking to begin with, then I guess you should do those Ramsey st baby steps instead, right? But fear not, eventually the goal is to graduate to financial adulthood and actually use the leverage we get from debt for things like houses and real self-improvement. So you have to decide though what kind of person you want to be. Cheers, I'll approach it.